Hey guys, welcome to a new video, and in today's video, we are going to be looking at the 2020 presidential election, at doing a prediction again. Um, I'm just going to kind of take just a step back from congressional and midterm elections and bring into light uh, some of the recent news. So, uh, sources are saying that Oprah Winfrey is actively considering running for President of the United States of America. Um, now, I've seen a lot of videos, even prior to the news, that Oprah may be running for President, that um, that were pre predicting Donald Trump versus Oprah Winfrey, and now I'm going to look and um, analyze this by myself. Now, I've went through a lot of numbers. I went through a lot of uh, demographics, uh, two hours worth of numbers and demographics prior to getting this prediction ready. So uh, first, just kind of throwing up in the air, uh, uh, Let's Talk Elections, who is another uh, election prediction channel. Um, I'm good friends with him. He did a prediction on this today and had Donald Trump winning. Today, I'm going to start out by saying Donald Trump doesn't win my uh, my prediction. Now, you know, both of these candidates have an incredibly, an incredibly terrible governmental experience. I don't care if Donald Trump is president for four years. He's terrible at governing a nation. That is, that's just flat down. He could be doing a good job. But the point, the fact of the matter is, governing is leadership, and a leadership uh, is he doesn't prove to be very good at leadership. Um, so first, I want to I want to start by going to the battleground states. The battleground states will be places including um, Nevada. Uh, I'll throw Arizona in there. Colorado will, and Colorado is only there because you know that uh, un un uh, you know unexperienced on both sides. Of course, most of the Rust Belts. Um, uh, no, I don't want that. North Carolina, Virginia, New Hampshire. Uh, I suppose a congressional district in Maine. Um, where else? Is that it? Iowa, I would say, would be battleground. Now for the safe Republican states, I'm going to give them, um, of course, their normal states that they typically win. Um, I'm going to give them Texas, and I'll explain why in a moment. Just basically the states that they've won in 2000 and in 2000 and, um, in 2016. With the exception of now, I'm going to change Florida into being a uh, being a toss-up state. Uh, Republicans would win Alaska, and yeah. Next, we're gonna go to California, Oregon, Washington, New Mexico, Illinois. We're gonna go to Minnesota, there, all the way down these normal places here okay here we go so we start out with an immediate safe 193 votes for oprah winfrey to a safe 164 votes for donald trump am i missing one yes i am sorry uh, those two both go to oprah winfrey so a safe 200 solid votes for oprah winfrey to a safe 164 votes for Donald Trump. 174 votes are toss-ups. Now, neither candidate is going to be necessarily appealed to in this election, but the fact that Donald Trump, uh, you know, is sort of alienating to liberal-leaning independents and Democrats, he loses that, loses all of it. And what that's going to flip is that's going to flip the state of Nevada. That's going to flip the state of Colorado. That's going to flip the state of Virginia. Uh, the state uh, and the state of New Hampshire. What is Donald Trump going to appeal to in this election that Oprah Winfrey will not? Donald Trump is going to appeal to those conservative-leaning independents and those Republicans, which will pick him up the state of Arizona, which will pick him up the state of Georgia, which will pick him up the state of North Carolina. Now we're stuck with the Rust Belt, 
which I will include Iowa in the Rust Belt, and we're stuck with um, the state of Florida. Let's start first in the state of Iowa. Iowa is progressively becoming more Democratic. Um, why? Because or they're becoming more Republican. Why? Because the base of the Democrats in Iowa, which is most of the white working class and the black vote, for starters, the white working class is going more towards the Republicans. The black vote is just not turning out to vote. We need Oprah Winfrey to appeal to those black voters. Those black voters all over the nation, except for, you know, in these, you know, logically Republican states. Uh, but the, those black voters, you know, North Carolina, Georgia, South Carolina, um, even in Alabama, we looked at, we see what, what happened in this election uh in 2000 and, or 2017, Doug Jones won in Alabama. The Democrats need to elect a candidate that can turn out the black vote. The black vote is the second biggest, uh, second biggest uh, demographic in the in the uh, United States, which means they're progressively becoming more of a majority rather than a minority. Which means the Democrats need to appeal to them. If the Democrats can't appeal to the black vote and pick up as much as Obama did in 08 and 2012, they cannot win the presidency. Hillary Clinton screwed up on the black vote in Michigan, screwed up on the black vote in Pennsylvania, in Ohio, in Michigan, in Iowa, in Florida, in North Carolina. She screwed up on the black vote in those states. That is why Hillary Clinton didn't win. Not because Donald Trump was some ultra-nationalist populist, because we all know Michigan wouldn't vote for that. We know, though, that there was low voter turnout in Detroit, where most of Michigan's black population is, and we know that it was the black population that didn't turn out. Same thing in Philadelphia. Same thing in Milwaukee. That was the problem. We need a candidate that can turn out the black vote. The Democrats do. Oprah Winfrey is a black woman. She's not a white woman like Hillary Clinton with scandals. She has no scandals. She's done a lot of good things for people. Where is that going to take Oprah Winfrey? Well, if you want my honest opinion, that takes Oprah Winfrey to the White House. Because she needs to turn out that black vote and she will do it. And especially in these states that Hillary Clinton desperately needed but lost, with the exception of North Carolina, because the conservative vote sort of outrules the black vote in that state, if you think about it, um, and if you do the math correctly. I think that Ohio would remain in the Republican column only because the conservative-leaning independents like in North Carolina would not vote. But it's going to be a close state, much closer than 2016, much closer than, you know, the last... Um, last four or five election cycles if a Republican won it. Um, but you'll have to go back and look at that. But uh, yeah, Ohio will be very, very close, but Donald Trump will pick it up. Same thing in Ohio or Iowa. Iowa will be very close, but Donald Trump will pick it up. The state of Florida, this state will flip. It's one of those states that is not safe. It's just not safe. Um, and I don't accept I don't expect it to go to Donald Trump in 2020. This is his second home, sure. Sure, he's got a lot of support here. But if you can get a candidate like Oprah Winfrey to drive the hell, excuse my language, but if you can get a candidate like Oprah Winfrey to drive the hell out of that out of that black vote, you will win these states. You will flip these states. Um, I think the Republicans will pick up that vote in Maine. Um, no surprise there. It's a very conservative district. But like I was saying, if you can get that black vote out, you will win the presidency. The Democrats will because that is their jewel in the crown. The black vote is. The African-American vote is. African-Americans mean more to the Democrats now than they did in the past because the entire you know, policy has switched, but they're the jewel in the crown. If Oprah Winfrey can drive out that black vote, she can flip the states in the Rust Belt. She can flip Florida. She wins the election. So if you have any suggestions about this video or future videos, please leave them out in the comments. Uh, I'll probably update this video at some point in the future. And thank you for watching.